Oh, hi everybody. This is uh, 365 here again. Uh, today, I'm going to be making by far one of the best fish that I love. Other than my home country, they have different types of fish like in everywhere else. But in here, rainbow trout and salmon is one of the nice things to cook. So today, I'm going to just show you one of the ways how I like to make it and company with rice right now I'm cooking the rice right there I like mushroom rice a lot and it's gonna be going with this beautiful salmon uh, troll rainbow troll so I'm gonna show you what I'm using here I'm using five grams of mustard one tablespoon of honey I'm using crispy onion two tablespoons of crispy onion a quarter teaspoon of uh, uh, black, black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm using a teaspoon of roasted garlic, half teaspoon of uh, dill, and a teaspoon of uh, uh, parsley. Also as a liquid, I have three tablespoons of uh, olive oil, uh, soy sauce, uh, quarter tea, uh, about three tablespoon, three quarters of uh, chicken stock, and two table brown sugar. So today it's gonna be a little bit hard because um, first I'm not very good making videos. Let's just be clear in that one. And uh, I just do it for the fun. You know, if we, I kind of find YouTube a very incredible because if we, you have a bunch of videos or you have a couple of videos there and tomorrow when it's going to happen to her, we die or I die, I guess my kids can go and watch me talking and about food they were always like and they can see me there. So to me, it's like a good memory for them if we, when, when I check out. But at the meantime, I do it because I love cooking. And it's so good that I would like to scream it to everybody how good is cooking. But, so I got this little pilon over here, which I'm going to be doing the crispy onion with the other ones. And I'm going to make a sauce for the fish. So I add all my dry ingredients into that little pilon and the salt, everything is in there. So I'm going to crunch ground them for a little bit until they can blend a little bit together. And I'm also going to ground my two tablespoons of brown sugar. So after I made my paste of here, the brown sugar, I'm gonna bring it into this little bowl over here. And I'm gonna add all my liquid ingredients into it. Let's start adding the honey. One tablespoon of honey, one teaspoon of mustard, I add my three tablespoons of olive oil, I add my four tablespoons of soy sauce, my chicken stock, and then I'm gonna stir it. So this is where it come out with the sauce. This is my sauce for the rainbow troll. I'm gonna spray it on the fish. So it's kinda hard to work out here with one hand. But what I would do, this stuff, I'm gonna rub it in the fish. I'll try to show you a little bit how I do it. So I just spray it on the fish everywhere. You're gonna have a sweet, 
sweet, sour, sweet, salty fish. It's gonna be good. It's kind of hard to explain the way how it's gonna taste, but uh, this is what I you would do. You would just kind of rub it all around the fish. This is a skin and rainbow trout. It's very good with salmon too. So once I add all the sauce and I coated the fish with the, with the sauce, I'm gonna let it sit for at least 15 to 20 minutes. I cover it with a tin foil and they will go into the oven for 280 for no more than 20 minutes. Just enough so they can just be moist and nice. It's gonna be beautiful guys, so stay tuned. So now the fish is covered up. We will leave it like that for 15, 15, 20 minutes. When it's done, we're gonna pour two more those 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna get two, three tablespoons of uh, fried onion. We're gonna crush it down and we're gonna spray it on the top and put it in a grill and grill the top of the fish a little bit. And uh, it's gonna bring that sauce moist from the fish to a nice crispy texture. So it's gonna be good. In the meantime, here's the rice. This is the mushroom rice. I do always enjoy mushroom rice. It's nice and easy to make. Uh, mushroom costs you about two bucks for a little, or 300 grams of mushroom. You see, you get uh, two cups of water, uh, four cups of water, two cups of rice, a kicking around tablespoon of seasoning that you have around. Uh, use, and instead of water, use seasoning. And this is how your rice is gonna look like. You can use any other type of seasoning to give that flavor to your rice and instead of just having it plain and white. You can always have plain and white rice, nothing wrong with it. But this way you can make a very, very good, tasty, delicious rice. Still cooking alone. I'm also working, like I say, I like cooking and I cook everything. And in the next few days, we're gonna be doing also some jerk chicken. Uh, see how's it go but I'll come back to you let me just finish the fish and we're gonna also blend some asparagus okay somebody told me once when you want to do some asparagus asparagus are very good and healthy for you I guess this is one of the only one of the healthy things that I like asparagus uh, and they're easy to clean you see this little scum right here or whatever you call it you get you can take it off with your potato peeler you know you can tie up your asparagus to look nice so you take that in with the potato peeler and then you have also a woody part in the back somebody told me if you do this that's how you cut the asparagus and then you just have it ready like that for blanching the asparagus which I'll show you in a second so I'm just going to clean all these bunch of asparagus and that's how you do it. I just wanted to show that little detail. So I did peel all the asparagus. Now I'm going to blanch them. Uh, the way how this works, the way I do it, maybe I was told like that. I peel them out, I clean them up, and I tie them back with a string. Why? Because I want them to blanch, not to overcook. And uh, if I put them all at the same time, they can come out at the same time out of the world. I blanch them for at least four to five minutes. I have one single one that I leave outside because I want to try that one. I want to make sure that it's enough cook how I want it. So right now they're just boiling. And something that you have to do when you're blanching some vegetable, have ready a pot with cold water. They put ice. Normally you use ice to chuck the vegetable really quickly. I just put cold water from the top because it's really cold anyway. Just let them boil for no more than five minutes. I wanna see if my asparagus are just fine. It's really hot. Nice, crunchy, what I'm looking for. So I pour them out of the, wa the water into the cold water. I put it back into the top and let it run in some cold water so they will choke and they will stay that green exactly how they look nice in the plate. So this is how the fish is doing. 
I'm gonna take this out now. Oh god, look at how it started looking at. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna eat good today. It's hot. So you see? It's almost almost there. So I'm gonna put it back in there. Because I want them to uh, they're almost done. I just need a little bit more of time and then I can blast them up in the top with the grill part. I love barbecuing. My barbecuing is my tin. But I can cook all this food that I'm doing inside because of the cold weather and things like that. All this food I can make it outside. And it's more fun. So right now I gotta make it right here, but I, I can promise you it takes just the same. So in a few minutes we'll be back again. So the asparagus are ready. You see the color on it? I dry them up. And then I'm gonna saute them with butter, salt, and pepper. And they will be for the plate. So it's just uh, make sure that it dries and they're cold. And then you can saute in a frying pan. So I got the crispy onion and I crunch them up. Now I'm just gonna put it on top of the fish. And they're gonna go back into the oven again. This is going to give another extra little kick. But I can tell you this fish is a bomb. It tastes so good. It's something nice and easy to do it in the, in the grill. To do it in the oven inside the house. And the way we're going to have it today is going to be delicious. I learned to make this fish about 26 years ago. Uh, back in BC. Uh, from some native friend of mine. And... Since then, I haven't forgot it. It's always good. Okay, I put in a, a tablespoon of olive oil and a tablespoon of butter. I let it melt. Why do I put them both together? Because and then the butter doesn't get burned. So I put my asparagus right there. I grab the pepper. Do some ground pepper right there. And do some salt. Ah, oh, that's just already good. And that, you just make sure you know it. Space is very limited, so it's kind of flipping things in the air. But you can always warm up your vegetables. Reheat your vegetables after you blanch them this way. Butter, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. And then you're gonna have a beautiful, delicious asparagus. Just tiny bit of heat on that. Here's the fish. I blasted up on top with the charbroiler with the grill. Now I, there's the crispy onions on top of the fish. It's nice and finished. So I'm gonna plate it and then you will see how it looks like. Okay, and here is my final plate. But I can tell you for sure it's not gonna be that little bit that I'm gonna be eating. That's the difference when you cook for yourself or when you cook in a rest, you eat in a restaurant. They give you a little bit, but this way you can have a really good meal, very low cost, and a lot of food. Ya tu sabe, I'm going to enjoy it, you enjoy the video. Underneath it will be the recipe, the what I use, and you are welcome to subscribe, you are welcome to leave a comment, and you shoot me a question if you like it, and tell me how was and if you got to make it. You can also make it in the barbecue and use any other kind of fish. So I wait for you to respond in this video and let me know. Ya tu sabes, Chef 365 is going to go eat now.